Hi, and uh, welcome to our presentation, uh, in which I will present uh, uh, a corpus and a trend model for Arabic listed name entities called Wujud. I'm Mustafa Jarrar. I did this work with my colleagues, uh, Professor Muhammad Khalili and Sana Ghanim at Birzeit University. Uh, before starting, uh, please allow me to introduce my research group uh, in which we uh, uh, released several uh, linguistic resources that we have developed and available online. A lexicographic uh, database with many lexicons and Arabic ontology or word it, and several uh, dialect uh, corpora morphologically annotated, in addition to a large number of linguistic ABIs to give access to uh, our data and uh, services such as WSD and NIR and uh, other uh, natural language processing services or tasks. Uh, okay. So the problem we tackled in the paper uh, is the following. Uh, we have seen mature results in uh, near systems for most languages to recognize named entities like uh, Sami works at Jimmy Carter Center. Sami is a person and Jimmy Carter Center is an uh, organization. This is called the flat near and it's really mature in most languages people achieved uh, uh, good results. Uh, however, in nested near, where we want to recognize entities inside other entities. So we want to say also that in addition to Jimmy Carter is, Center is an organization, we want to recognize that Jimmy Carter is a person. Uh, to build such a corpora and annotated manually is challenging. It's also challenging to train BERT models with this. Uh, existing Arabic uh, near corpora is actually only supporting the flat like this. And they are small and they only support a limited number of classes, or classes of, or entity types. In addition to that, they focus only on uh, uh, modern standard Arabic. In this research, we present a corpus and uh, a finite tuned model. Uh, the corpus compared with other with others is actually the first corpus that support uh, nested named entities, uh, the largest in, in, in terms of uh, uh, number of tokens inside the uh, number of tokens, the size of the corpus, and the richest also because it's uh, very rich in terms of number of entities inside the corpus and supports 21 types of entities or classes of entities. Uh, the corpus consists of uh, MSA and dialect corpora and supports multiple domains, uh, media, history, culture, health, finance, ICT, law, elections, politics, uh, migration, and terrorism. Uh, actually, the corpus is available as nested. It's also available, can be used as a flat. And, uh, the finely tuned model, uh, we, we used the Arabert uh, Britrend model, and we use or use uh, we, we train it over this corpus, and we achieved 88.4% uh, uh, F1 score. Uh, the corpus was collected from three types of uh, resources, web articles, and uh, it's almost half of the corpus. Uh, we also uh, called uh, the Palestinian Digital Archive, uh, which uh, covers the history and culture and also other entities. It, this, this, this corpus or this part of the corpus is really rich in terms of nested entities. This is why we include it. Uh, in addition, we also have uh, social media text written in there. Uh, in total, uh, 550,000 tokens. Uh, the, 21 classes of entities we support are persons, uh, groups of people, not, occupations, organizations, geopolitical entities, geographical locations, facilities, events, date and time, language, websites, uh, laws, uh, products, 
we distinguish with, we distinguish between cardinal and ordinal numbers, uh, percentage, uh, quantity, unit, uh, money, currency, and so forth. Okay, this is an example of annotated sentence. Mana Hamudir Bank Al Qahira Mablag Malyon Jinel Tilaf al Amilim Bijama at Al Qahira Lidam Mizaniat Al Fenon So the manager of the Cairo Bank awarded one million pound to the employees union at the Cairo University to support the 2022 budget. So if you see here, Manaha is O, Mudir Bank Al Qahira, uh, the manager of the Cairo uh, Bank is an organization. But it's also Cairo Bank is, is sorry, uh, is, uh, this is occupation. Uh, uh, the manager of the IT ba uh, Cairo Bank is an occupation, and Cairo Bank is an organization. Uh, Cairo is a geopolitical entity. Uh, million bound is an in, uh, is money, and bound is currency. Uh, the employees union at. Care University is organization. All of it is one organization, but it's also Care uh, University is another organization men mentioned inside another organization. Uh, uh, and Care again is a geopolitical entity. The 2022 is added. So please look or remember to see that uh, uh, we have some entities of the same type. So I. I org, I org. So, so we will talk about it later. Uh, 14 people uh, participated uh, in the annotations. Uh, uh, two of them were uh, experts, near experts. Uh, the annotations were performed using Google Sheets. It's actually just a simple way. Uh, over eight months. And we did the corpus over, we annotated the corpus over three phases. In the first phase, we asked the annotators to annotate the corpus manually, totally, and then the experts reviewed uh, the annotations and gave feedback to the annotators uh, to revise. At the end, we finally tuned the model and we used it to predict tags. And we, we look at the tags manually. We look at the tags, if they are different or not, uh, and we correct in, in, if we find mistakes. So we did this two times. The idea of the third phase was to uh, uh, find some missing uh, annotations. Okay, so these are the counts of each entity in the corpus, uh, whether it's flat or nested. As you see here, we have 7,000 uh, uh, mentions of uh, persons, uh, 700, about 700 of them are nested, but the rest are flat. Uh, the group of people are 5,000. The large, the highest numbers are uh, geopolitical locations, uh, organizations, uh, person, uh, norm, uh, and uh, uh, ordinals. The lowest numbers are product and uh, quantity unit, maybe also money and currency. They are not very high. Uh, 22% of the corpus is nested, of, of the entities in the corpus are nested. Uh, we faced some cases, uh, 576 entities that are nested of the same type, like organization inside another organization. Uh, like the employees union at Cairo University uh, is one entity and Cairo University is an insight also. Entity. Such cases are were challenging to uh, annotate and also to train a model for. To evaluate the interantator agreement, uh, we choose uh, some sentences randomly, about 24,000 uh, tokens, and we ask the annotators to re annotate them. Uh, we calculated the Kaba with O, with, with the tag O, because most of the corpus is actually. Naturally, is is O uh, was tagged with O, uh, so we calculated with O. We were afraid that it will overestimate the numbers, but it did, did not they didn't estimate the numbers. This is the calculations without O. It's almost the same, but also we provided an, another uh, uh, another uh, if, uh, measure if one score. 
which achieved also the same result. So it's about uh, 80, uh, 98% uh, accuracy. That was about the corpus. Now I will present the fine tuning compared with nested entities. We find it tuned an existing pre-trained model called Arabert version two, uh, multitask learning. And uh, uh, so we build a multiple, multiple classifiers, one for each of the 21 uh, types of entities using these parameters. We divided the corpus into 70% training, 10% validation, and 20% uh, for testing. Uh, we achieved these results, uh, which shows 88.4% uh, F1 score overall. Uh, for some of the tasks, the results were very high for some of the tags, uh, like uh, uh, geopolitical entities, person, date, uh, ordinal, also money, currency, law, uh, also organizations are, are really high numbers, but there are some low numbers like a product and uh, you, uh, unit and the quantity because we have a, a very uh, small number of entities inside the corpus. Uh, last but not least, I would like to mention that entities of the same types were not supported in the training. Uh, this is a link to, if you want to try uh, uh, our model online. Uh, the, it is a web service with different types of formats, JSON and XML, also you can see it highlighted. Uh, okay, so to sum up, we presented in this paper uh, a corpus and a model. So the corpus uh, supports nested entities. It's a large corpus and rich in terms of a number of entities and number of classes of entities. Uh, uh, supports MEC and dialect and multiple domains and with high uh, internal total agreement. Uh, and the model also shows a 88.4% uh, F1 score. The code and the data and the demo are available uh, on this uh, link. Okay, uh, this is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, I'm happy to take some questions. Thank you.